Hello lovelies, welcome back once again to my channel. This is myself here. It is always pleasant to have you here. If today is your first time stopping by, hello there and welcome. Today we are making Gary. Yes, Gary, we all love Gary and you can make it at home. So if you want to know how I made this delicious Gary, please stay with me till the end and let's make this together. Part of my subs kitchen. You proud to be part of my subs kitchen. To make curry is a very simple thing to do. You just need one ingredient, and that is our cassava. So, as you can see me doing, I'm taking the cassava peels away, and I will continue the process until I'm done with all of my cassavas right there. If today is the first time coming across my channel, hello there and welcome. My name is myself. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook, kindly do so and be part of this family. Please feel free and use chopping board if you can't do it just as I'm doing, okay? Yes, yeah, so here I am done with all my cassavas. I'll go ahead and cut it into smaller pieces so it will be very easier for me when I put it into my blender to blend okay and as I said earlier on feel free and use your chopping board if you are afraid of your hands okay now let's go ahead and use our chopping board to chop it so you will know how to do it if you are using your chopping board okay this is very simple and very fast if you if you ask me it goes very faster than what I was doing previously okay so this is how it is done so i'll put it into my bowl and then go ahead and wash it very nicely so we can go ahead and blend it into a very fine paste okay so this goes into my blender as you can see i'm using a very small chopper so i'll be doing it in bits until i'm done with all you can also use your grater to grate it before you blend it okay all works it works so here I have my nutmeg bag. I'll bring in my cassava in here. So I'll go ahead and continue blending and bring in the cassava into my nutmeg bag until everything is done. This is a very simple, simple, simple recipe and you will love it. Just look at that. Look at the liquid coming out from the cassava. Yes. So we are taking all the starch by squeezing the liquid out. You are taking more of the starch away from the gary. Yes, just look at that. So simple to make. I will set the liquid aside and then bring in some towel and wrap in my cassava in this towel. I'm doing all this to extract more liquid out from the cassava. We need a very dried cassava for our gary. So this is what I'm going to do. As you can see me I have tied it in a, a towel and this is what I'm doing I'll place a bowl in a, a bigger bowl placed my cassava on it and bring a lot of loads on it to extract more liquid so this will stay just like this for three days and after three days this is what we have here and remember our cassava has also fermented right okay so now let's check and see if our cassava is truly dried just look at that it is beautifully dried and this is what we need for our gary so what we're going to do is we're going to sieve it and i have this locally sieve right here with me of which i'm going to use to sieve my cassava if you don't have this one please feel free and use your normal sieve at home it works just like this okay yes so as you can see me doing i am saving my cassava to remove all the unwanted parts so we can get a smooth gary at the end this is a very simple recipe just look at what i got here i'll throw that away and see what we got underneath so simple so simple to me and making your own gary tastes amazing guys when you are done and you taste it it is so crunchy and the taste you will love it midofupa ene de gary ni edru so se ne ohun se ne process no sa pepe 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 wan ka san so ye bi ma wo busia na busia na nyina eni be je kama 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 just look at that 
so now let's go ahead and fry our gari so i'll place my gari into my hot pan and then go ahead and mix this until the water gets dried and the color changes you will see it by yourself just look at that so beautiful when your gari is almost done the color changes the smell changes and the taste changes too so anytime you want to know just take a few and put it into your mouth and you will know if it's done or not this is a very simple 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 recipe and it tastes amazing it is nicely done so i'll pour it aside and then continue with the rest until i'm done with all just look at this it is so simple to make and i enjoyed making my own curry at home Medofupa, sa uwa kwa ntumu, na se uwa banche nkwa wo hwa. E mani ha, wanka sabi tumaya yo gari, se omu nton gari biya wo African shop mu biya. Se unya wo banche nkwa, e wo Asian shops nmo wa, wanka sabi tumaya yo gari wo fiye. Wafe, e ya simple kwa anu wenibe jomu. Just look at that, so beautiful, beautiful. Kindly give this recipe a try and I know you will love it. When you make your own at home, you will know what you're consuming. Just look at what we have here. So beautiful. We have a homemade curry and it tastes amazing. Thank you all so, so much for staying with me till this far. I truly appreciate your time. If you really like this video, please give me some thumbs up, comment, like and share this video with your family and friends. Until I come your way next time with another simple but yet delicious recipe. Bye for now. Smack like eater.